Hi everybody, my name is Windu11 here, and welcome to the second half of World 5, where we will be finishing up World 5 today. So why did I say second half? I have no clue. It's just what I have written down here. Gotta love scripts. But anywho, uh, we're starting off with 5-B today, and, uh, well... It's more ice. Again, I'm not a fan of ice. Especially with the Luigi here. It's like, should be disaster here, but uh, I'm just taking it nice and slowly. If we were here with Mario, I would probably be going a bit faster, but yeah. Shit like that uh, makes it kind of hard to do it. Never been a fan of uh, ice levels. Winter levels, on the other hand, if uh, no slippery is involved, uh, yeah, I love winter levels. Again, again, it has. I love the design. Like I've loved seeing like these huge ass trees, like uh, in the background. Uh, maybe it might be uh, a view, but they look like humas, uh, humongous trees that are just like towering over everybody. We also lost that one up, which is super cruel. Um. Oh, cool, the unicorn is back. The unicorn took my mushroom. How dare you. That could have been an easy one up there. Well, never mind. We're just gonna take, take our anger out on this one guy. As all should be. And... Oh, come on. Come on. Easy second star coin, and I got it small, and it's all over. I need to, and I just, I just did it. Wow, okay. Uh, let's try that again. Rewind. Let's rewind time here. Uh, we're just gonna, well, that's one way how to do it. Wow, that is super smart. Alternate solutions. Work smarter than harder, I guess. Though... I guess if you don't have a brain to begin with, then I guess working harder is the only way how to get smarter, I guess. Or understood that, uh... Not understood, per se, just... Never understood why that saying was said so much. Oh, and to top it off, uh, so by the way, the star coins were super easy to get, by the way. So you're probably thinking, well, there has to be something else to this, uh, uh, world, right? Not world, but this level. Uh, yeah, uh, we have a secret exit. And the blue shell is required of all things. Trust me, I love my blue shell, but man, do I hate it when uh, game. I hate it when the game developers make you go get a power up. Thankfully, thankfully it's not the mini mush again, but uh, it was a nightmare. Let's just say to put it in slightly, it was a nightmare getting back here with the blue shell while having a slippery Luigi in a blue shell so you can only imagine what happened i walked the entire way yeah uh, nothing really exciting happened i just walked it was a very very boring ass uh, way back here meanwhile i had to dodge enemies while not like running and just like just walking, like stumbling all the way here, because if I ran even slightly, slightly ran, I would have went into a goddamn uh, shell of chaos that most likely would have ended in my own death. Anyways, this just warps us to the castle, so I guess if you don't want to play the rest of the levels, uh, you can do that. Now, as for... Uh, World 5C, World 5C, uh, all that is can be known for this is, well, it's another underground section. And hey, look, our spinies are back. 
blue shell ones without the spinies now. Could be completely saying them wrong, but we also have uh, the puncher guys again. Oh boy, these guys are a pain in the neck. It also doesn't help that I have the blue shell still with me, so I'm trying to not run as much because I kind of keep forgetting how to stop with the blue shell, so yeah, I don't know. It's been forever since I have actually played with the actual, like, just like the actual, like, well, I don't know, like the actual, mm, like the actual, like, blue shell itself, especially in the versus modes, it's so much fun. Uh, talking about the versus modes, I, like, there's the, I forget that there's the whole, like, mini games that this game also came with, but honestly, uh, I might, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show up, well, I mean, I'll be able to show off the mini games, that's for sure, but the, probably the... Uh, the verses, which I would really want to do, I would have to figure out how to get a s one, get a second controller connected. Actually, I don't even know if that would even be possible. Hmm. I would. I wonder if I would need a second. And even if I, yeah, even if we did this on a different DS and shit, uh, without the. I know uh, another DS isn't required, but how would I even get the footage then? Yeah, that's something super hard. Trust me, I would love to get footage of this. Hell, I wouldn't even make a little probably mini series out of this damn thing. Uh, just like the versus modes. That's like how fun the versus modes is, shit. Uh, but we also did miss out on a third star coin, but uh. But that star corn is actually pretty headed pretty well. I'm also surprised that um, we're the blue shell, blue shell again, and we haven't died yet. Or well, we died at least once. Also, can you stop breaking the uh, blocks that keep? Uh, well, there goes the blue shell. Yeah. Yeah, so it's at this point I realized the third star coin is missing, and at first I thought it maybe would have been up here with these guys raining down, and I was just, uh, they were breaking stuff so chaotically that I was like, oh sh, I didn't have time to comprehend what they're actually doing. But yeah, it's nowhere over here. It's actually in a, a block. It's actually. It's actually a vine. It's another beanstalk block. It's actually hidden pretty well. And this one I found out of uh, pure luck when I actually was just coming back. I think I actually. Yeah, I accidentally hit it by accident while just running back uh, through the lava again. And that's when I realized it was a beanstalk one. Trust me, it doesn't make the fact that this also, uh, to get the sec third star coin here, it isn't as easy as that is done, because even once you figure out where the, uh, the star coin itself is, and the beanstalk is, um, uh, well, uh, my advice to you is, please do not kill him. You see him here, over here? Do not kill him. If you kill him, you just uh, screwed yourself out of a star coin. And then also another thing, uh, make sure you uh, do this because also the another thing is, like I said, don't kill him and shit. But there's another reason why I say don't kill him and shit because and go towards like probably the back of where the wooden blocks are. Is as if you didn't see, uh, there's invisible blocks there. Game developers, that's kind of devious, but yeah, after a few tries, I would say about three or four tries there, 
I eventually got that star coin. Uh, so going on to the ghost house. Oh, cool. Notes are saying, uh, much failure. That's, that's just perfect. But with these guys, yeah, I can see how that is. Yes, uh, I'm pretty sure if we kill these guys, they don't even respond, do they? Oh, I can see this. I can see this all playing out right now. Probably the worst thing is it probably wasn't. Even... Yeah. So, yeah. So there was just a common sense. Of, well, one, the guy just killed. Yeah, basically is the way how you get to the first dark one. By the way, so don't kill him. By the way. Oh, by the way, he doesn't respond. By the way. Yeah, so you're gonna have to repeat the level if you kill him. Um, right off the bat here, we need to lure down a second guy here. Well, one, to open that up, but two, also to, well, uh, well, originally not to do this, but, uh, so we can get at the store, which I'm pretty sure has a star coin in here for us. Oh dear lord, with the room full of these guys, that also is lagging the game. Ooh. And so, now that we're done there... Oh, look, the guy actually responds. The little, there's a problem. Unless you're willing to, uh, damage block, not damage block, or basically, uh, basically run into him and use damage as a way out to get past him, uh, yeah, there's no way out to get past, to pass him. So in reality, I guess if you don't want, want to play the level over again, you can do it that way. Also, there's the beanstalk here. Um... Yeah, right now you probably don't. I know it's there, but I'm leaving it for now. But trust me, there is a beanstalk there. I know it's there, especially now that they considered it showed it to me. But yeah, we only got the second star coin in this run. Because, again, all haunted houses do have a secret uh, exit. So, so, yeah. Ooh, spooky scary. And we got the boo saying ha 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 all over again. I don't know, this ghost house, most levels in this game hadn't bored me, but I don't know. I don't know what it was about this one that it didn't interest. It wasn't that very interest to me. And the idea of using this stupid, like, uh, fist guy really did not help the case for this one. It felt like one of the more forgettable, like, ghost houses to me. And that's saying a lot considering how high I, how high I, I ugh, how high I held this game in the Persephone, because this is a really good DS game. Like, legitimately, out of top fives, this would be in my top five favorite DS games. So, I don't, yeah. Uh, so, we're going on uh, to get the second, uh, not the second, but the first and third star coin, plus the secret exit. But, if you might have noticed that my life has been changed around, uh, when I said much failure, I meant much failure, because mostly what would happen is I would accidentally kill him, or in the process, he would kill me. Because we gotta keep this guy alive. At first, I thought maybe I could, like, uh, get this one to, well, one, to get uh, these blocks for me, and that'd be that, but, uh, no. There is nothing here, so, yeah, that be known. But, um, so, going from here, it'd be a simple matter of we just need this guy to go left than right, but it's easier said than done. 
There probably was an easier way to do this, but yeah, look at him. Look at the dumbass. Look at him. He's gone. I don't know where I'm going at this point. Yeah, so he's completely gone. He's still down there, by the way. I'm trying to probably respawn him in, but yeah. Yeah, the idiot somehow got himself uh, down there, so... Yeah. I When I mean that this took me a long time, I meant it took me a long-ass time. Like, this guy was very, very stupid. Like, this guy would get himself soft-locked at the edge of a stair. Oh my god, dealing with this guy was annoying as all hell. So basically, the ideal is you want to, well, get his attention. Do that. Do not do that! Okay. Mmm. Okay, attempt number three. Like they always say, third time's the charm, right? I highly doubt it with this guy. So far, first one was on him. Second one, you know what? Was, yeah. Was on me, but yeah. So after doing that, that working, trust me, I did that a couple other times, that did not work. So, it's a miracle that that did work. But yeah, we can finally get the first... I thought I was about to die. Oh my god. Please, ball jumps, connect. <laughs> and after we do that... So, yeah, so, right off the bat here, uh, so, yeah, third star coin, by the way, uh, so, yeah, I knew the star, third star coin was here, uh, but what I forgot was the secret exit. Remember the golden rule of there always being a secret exit in the ghost house? Well, not me, apparently, because I completely forgot. How? I don't know. I tend to forget a lot of things. All you need to know is that you need to ha uh, keep hang to right for the third star coin, by the way. Yeah, that's how you get the third star coin. But yeah, by the way, you go through that door, there's your secret exit. Ooh, spooky, scary. Again, this ghost house did not do anything for me. It felt like a... Yeah, okay. Situation. And the fact that I had to go through this uh, same ghost house again irked me a lot. I don't know. Oh, by the way, that's our final cannon, by the way. That's the final cannon, so we don't gotta worry about cannons anymore, so that's cool. <laughs> Guess you could say it's cannon. <laughs> Ah, uh, the jokes write themselves. Anywho, uh, yeah, a third star given, and we can get out of this a uh, horrible level. Get me out of here. Oh, why am I trying to get a one up again? I just want this to be over with. Now, unfortunately, I wish we could. <laughs> okay, professional here. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to get the castle. We got another auto scroller, and we have another unique uh platform. Uh, the squeaky uh platform that goes. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you like that noise. Don't worry, I did this perfectly. 
Surprisingly. Trust me. I was ready for the castle and get this over with. But it's not the case. We also got uh, bullet bills uh, flying everywhere. But honestly, they're not too bad. Considering uh, Super Mario World had one level that was complete chaos with these guys at one point. So uh, these bullet bills are not that hard to dodge. Especially with these uh, platforms able to lower, lower you and put you up. So... Yeah, I guess if you had a mini mush there, you could skip this part and you could get the second star going. But if you use a, a shell, you should be fine. And look at that, I even dodged the Koopa shell from losing my power up. Though it didn't really matter in the end because there is a, a flower right there. I left the flower behind. Well, what about the thousand points? No. Besides, you, I guess it's pretty unique for a level. There's a one-up. That's a one-up I'm missing, but uh, I think it's pretty unique for a level. Or I guess it at least has some resemblance because I could, I can feel the chaotic energy here of you don't know where the next star coin is going to be. But thankfully, I just chose all the right paths, and yeah. And you get to hear this noise, and then you get to hear the noise again, and again, and again. I think I'm starting to go crazy. We're almost done here. We're almost done. Please get me out of here. Thank God. We'll never have to hear that uh, platform again. That was a one-time use of that pl platform, and it'll never be seen again. As unique as it is, it's as annoying as fuck, though. Um, and now... We just have the castle. Uh, are we going for the one-up mushroom house? Yes, we are. And so... Uh, yeah. Again, we'll go with our strategy. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Yeah, I could use a one-up. Look! I that's not bad. That's like two six. Uh, that's six one ups right there. I'll take that. We might be able to reach ninety nine by the end of this. Uh, let's see here. So right off the bat, this is also the final world that uh, that makes us well uh, need to do this two times with both mini mush and well. I don't know. Well, if you've been eyeing the right corner this entire time and been keeping, uh, have been clicked onto this video for this, uh, just to see this, uh, happen, uh, for the title of the video, then you should know what the second way of how we're doing this. <laughs> but I won't spoil that. Even though I spoiled it in the title already. <laughs> But yeah, anywho, I'm getting my ass kicked, and as for how I got Mini Mush first, I'm pretty sure I actually got it from a random block choice. I think there's a random block choice you can get in here. That or there might be a question block that gave it to me. I swear it was from the uh, random block, but basically we need to get the Stark one here. This one's actually pretty hard to get. Well, especially considering I'm fighting Luigi's, uh, well, I'm not even Luigi thing. I'm fighting a goddamn Caveira belt that's going so fast, and then I have a goddamn Piranha plant that's trying to snipe me in the background. Yeah, this is gonna go on for quite a while due to the fact that, like I said, I'm fighting so many things at once. And hey, look, a giant dry, dry bone. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. It's always nice seeing a unique enemy. And there's the second star coin. And going on from there. I. Uh, it might have been an actual question block. No? No, I'm pretty sure it was a... Yeah, it was a randomizer. Randomizer block. 
This is also how we got the star, by the way, if you wanted to know. Probably wonder how we got the star. Yeah, that's how you got the star. Uh, so this is also, by the way, uh, the mini mush is technically required to get the third star coin, by the way. You didn't see, like, that little gap and stuff. But, yeah, it's super required. So, I'm kind of glad I got the mini much out of the ram randomizer. Because, it, in all honesty, I did not want to have to go back to world 1 again for another mini mush. But, yeah, you can be... You can be your big self afterwards. But, I don't care for that. We need to... We need to kill the boss here. Who is actually P Penny the Piranha? The worst thing is, this guy just was sleeping. It's like, god damn, all it was doing was sleeping. You know, uh, disturbed my sleep. He's not a hard boss. Like, legitimately, if I had to say something about all the mini bosses up to this point, I would have to say this would be the easiest mini boss in the game. As mini, mini Luigi. Unlike saying that, uh, last attack there was kind of, uh, that was scary, but nothing I couldn't handle. And there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yay for me, Luigi. And with that being said, uh, we got, just got the star, man, but, yeah. Yeah, let's do this, star, man! Clickbait. Hello, did you actually think I could get a star, man, in here? Actually, I don't even know if it is possible. I might have to try that in my spare time, because it, it, it might be. If I'm fast enough, and maybe it is. But I don't know if that's the case. But anywho, guys, uh, that has been basically uh, basically World 5 here. The second half of World 5. And with that being said, guys, I will see you guys next time when we actually take on World 6. Have a nice day, guys.